Well, hey there, and welcome to Two Minute Tips. My name is Lori McLean, and this is my YouTube channel, Kaldari Raw. On this channel is where I share my life with you. Well, a little bit of my life anyways. I was diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis at the age of two, and I'm now in my 40th year with the disease. I drop weekly videos here on YouTube every Thursday where I share inspiration, information, and education with warriors like myself who have rheumatoid arthritis. If you or someone you love has rheumatoid arthritis, I invite you to please hit that subscribe button and share this video. In this particular series called Two Minute Tips, I will be sharing with you tips and tricks for navigating the world with the limitations that we sometimes have as rheumatoid arthritis warriors. So for this first episode, we're gonna spend two minutes talking about ways that I have adapted and things that I have found that help with oral hygiene. So let's move behind the desk and get started. Let's go. Oral hygiene. It can be one of the most difficult things to stay on top of as an RA warrior. So this is the regular toothbrush that a lot of people use. As you can tell, this one has somewhat of a fatter handle on it, but not great. It makes gripping extremely difficult, even more so when you have hands that don't close. So what I found over the years was these electric toothbrushes help a lot. They are bigger in the handle. Not only that, but they do the majority of the work for you. Movement of up and down, side to side, whatever the case may be, is extremely difficult if you have sore, stiff wrists. Now, something that I have learned over the years is this is like a Colgate, whatever kind of spin brush. They're battery operated. However, I was told by my dental hygienist that the thing that actually works the best is the ones that have the recharger and can be set every night or after every use back on the charging port because you don't lose power over time. With these battery operated ones, as the batteries start to go dead, the power begins to dwindle. Now, brushing is just one phase of oral hygiene. The next, of course, is flossing. Flossing, for me, to use this type of floss, again, guys, it's impossible. By the time we get it wound around our fingers, like we should, to try and navigate to these back teeth is, is a nightmare. I could never get back there properly. My fingers, my hands, my dexterity just does not allow for it. I switched to floss picks. I've discussed this with my hygienist and asked her, you know, are these things doing the trick? Now, she said they're better than nothing. So there you go, they're better than nothing. At least you're flossing and you're getting some of that debris out of there. So <clears throat> I have a bonus tip for you. When it comes to brushing, um, my dentist explained to me a little while back that because I'm on methotrexate and because I am on Humira, my cells replicate at a slower rate, which means gum receding is more likely when you are on those drugs. So if you're on a biologic, if you're on a disease modifier like methotrexate, talk to your dentist about it. That brushing side to side like this is only gonna cause those gums to recede even faster. So brush up and down. These heads that spin round and round and round and round are really good for helping with that. Don't be overly aggressive when you're brushing your teeth because it will cause those gums to recede faster and more so. Hopefully you've learned something. Oh, hey there. <laughs> Editing Lori. Uh, yeah, I, I know that I, I went over the, the two minute point in this video and all I can say is that next time will hopefully be a little shorter and a little shorter and a little shorter each and every time. But in my defense, I, I did offer a bonus tip. So anyways, oh, and by the way, don't forget to check out my Teespring store. It's full of merchandise and I'm really excited for you guys to see it and hopefully you see something you like. Description's in the link below, or at least it will be. Okay, back to the video. Hopefully you've learned something. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and I hope that you have a fantastic week. If you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button and please do share this video with fellow warriors, with your friends and family, because you just never know who out there is being affected and touched by rheumatoid arthritis. Everybody take care. I'll see you next week. Bye for now.